Greetings. We are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. I highly recommend that you listen to this entire brief video. It is paramount to your freedom and your future. I received a comment from a viewer the other day, saying that she was concerned that our most recent videos had changed the focus from spiritual issues to the carnal arena of politics. In reality, these newest videos are mainly dealing with the issue of censorship by big tech and big government. And why is that such a foundational concern? Because our constitution recognizes and upholds certain God-given inalienable rights, with the freedom of speech being the cornerstone. Without freedom of speech, we cannot speak freely without repercussions about any topic, including our sincerely held spiritual convictions. That's why we have been emphasizing these issues lately. If we lose our freedom of speech, we lose our ability to speak truth. If that basic human right falls, America as you know it falls. Censorship not only violates the Constitution, it violates our conscience, our humanity. In 1949, English novelist George Orwell, wrote his most famous book called, 1984. In the novel, Orwell depicts a dystopian society, that is totalitarian and oppressive. Much of our modern terminology comes from that novel. Big Brother, refers to big government. Their omnipresent surveillance, was done by big tech. Through censorship, you control the narrative. If you control the narrative, you control their thoughts. Control their thoughts, and you control the people. Big Brother also uses tactics like propaganda, rewriting history, and redefining terms. You see this right now, in the government-mandated programs enforced in our public schools. The federal education system, has become the federal indoctrination system. Right is wrong, and wrong is right. Boy is girl, and girl is boy. Big Brother is actually usurping the authority of the parents. They started by taking prayer out of school, and teaching the antiquated and scientifically disproven theory of evolution. But now, in some states, the government-controlled public schools, can take your adolescent child to a government clinic, and inject them with sex-changing hormones, or abort your grandchild, without the parent's consent or knowledge. It's actually quite demonic. They also like to hijack other volatile social issues such as racism, and use them to advance their agenda. They accomplish this by creating racial division, and inciting hatred and violence amongst the citizens. They insist to be white, is privilege. To be white, is bad. Whiteness, must be shamed and oppressed. And if you disagree you are a racist, and racism is hate, and hate is a crime. The media only shows white on black crime, but if you fact check their statistics, according to the FBI, the reverse is 100% more common. But, that tactic helps create more division that leads to more violence, and that opens the door to more control, and eventually allows the government to institute martial law. If you oppose the agenda of the police state, you are labeled a violent white supremacist, and white supremacy must be eliminated. Ironically, they are causing the division. They incite violent racial conflict, while simultaneously pretending to oppose it. But if you disagree with their agenda, you are broad brushed with some sort of label. It's always an unfair and offensive label, that everyone agrees needs to be suppressed, and eventually eliminated, permanently. Their modus operandi is to violate the people's rights, until they rebel. When the disenfranchised citizens rebel, Big Brother brings on martial law, to restore order. Their order. The New World Order. And since the government has indoctrinated the people to choose safety over freedom, they accept the oppression, like good obedient sheep. The process is absolutely insidious. It's equally ingenious, and wicked. Remember, it's not actually about racism, it's all about control. They want to have it, and keep it. But as we all well know, power corrupts, and absolute power, corrupts absolutely. It's a battle of worldviews, it's good versus evil, it's truth versus deception. It's only okay to demonize your opponents, if their father, 
is the father of lies. Big Brother seeks power and domination, whereas God offers true inner power and freedom. Big Brother demands blind oppressive obedience, whereas God offers free will. I am not suggesting anarchy, but the level of compliance that Big Brother demands, I can only give to the exclusive entity that deserves that level of trust, and that is the Creator. Big Brother only wants what's best for them. The Creator, only wants what's best for you. So that's why we are fighting censorship, because it's Big Brother's foot in the door of the Constitution. It's their first step towards totalitarianism. It's 1984, all over again. We are living that novel this very minute. The majority of the atrocities in that novel, are being played out right now, before our very eyes. Censorship opens the door for the wolf to enter the sheep fold. But Big Brother dresses the wolf in sheep's clothing. They stress unity and safety, over freedom. Just remember, in their mind, unity, means conformity. If you do not conform, you oppose unity. They redefine free speech, as hate speech, and then they simply suppress your voice, by throwing you in prison for verbal hate crimes. They have to protect the people from your divisive and subversive words. The heck with the Constitution, the people must be protected from anything that might open their eyes to reality. We must all bow down to the Emperor's new clothes. Censorship starts by suppressing free speech, but that leads to suppressing free thought. Eventually, you are not even allowed to think thoughts that are not approved by Big Brother. You will be convicted of thought crimes, by the thought police. It's only paranoia, if they are not, out to get you. So that is why we are raising awareness about the issue of censorship. Big government thinks George Orwell's novel, is an instruction manual. Our very way of life is at stake. The future of America is at stake. Look at the oppressive regimes of China, Russia, and North Korea. Without intervention, that is where we are headed. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Give them a mile, and they'll take the whole country, lock stock, and barrel. That's right, in order to eliminate the First Amendment, they'll confiscate the Second Amendment first. If you are not sure what that means, go read your Bill of Rights. They've already begun the assault. It's time to double down and fight back. Fight for your rights, and the rights of your children and grandchildren. There is much more at stake than anyone realizes. Ironically, it's a miracle that you are even watching this video. I'm sure it will eventually be eliminated, along with all our other videos. Millions of Americans died in wars, defending our freedoms. Do not let their deaths, be in vain. Peace be unto you and your house. Fight for freedom and liberty, but fight now. Because tomorrow will be too late.